everybody's on a tight schedule and we're at 8.03. So um, Bob Fapiano will be um, giving us, I think today is day 12 in our 13 for 13. So um, once again, thank you all for attending. We're very excited to be, oh, somebody's trying to get in now. Um, Bob, now that you're the host, you have to let people in. Yep, I'm gonna give that back to you. Oh, okay, good. Somebody's okay. trying to get in. So uh, unfortunately, Zoom is a little bit glitchy. Uh, doesn't make it easy sometimes, but we are all here to support you and that's why we're doing these 15 for 15 presentations. So it's gonna be um, a good one. This one is the first one we've done on Lutron Shades. A lot of people don't recognize Lutron as the second largest automatic shade manufacturer in the world. Um, so it's a massive part of their offering and something that their technology runs very deep into. So uh, personally, after being involved in energy conservation in green building for the last 25 years of my career, I really feel like this is one of the pieces of the puzzle that has been missing um, or maybe less, um, less aggressively pursued as an energy conservation strategy because of the complicated process of integrating shades into energy conservation systems. And so um, Lutron has made this very seamless for a lot of us. We just have to embrace the concept of actually selling shades and working with people about on a much more aesthetic thing than uh, their light switches. So the systems technologies are very clean and, and clear cut in terms of what needs to be specified when you're in the process of designing, but shades is not quite the same. And so I applaud you all for being here today and embracing this and getting your first taste if you haven't um, on what Lutron shades can do for you because this is a, a massive uh, plus for all of us. Um, on that note, we are so fortunate to have Robert Fapiano on our team and he's gonna- start uh Oh, I'm, this I'm in trouble now, you use my real first name. I know, isn't that funny? Robert. So um, thank you all again for attending and I'm gonna turn this over to Bob and keep uh, letting people in as they come in. Thank you so much. Thanks, Susanna. I made you host again, so you should be able to admit people that are showing up uh, for the training. So welcome everybody. Uh, this is uh, session 13 of our 15 for 15. Um, as uh, Susanna has mentioned in the past, all of these will begin to be reviewed or redone uh, begin. I think it was the second week of September, but this is a session 13. It is the first of three sessions that specifically focus on the shade business or Lutron's shade business, the overview of shade essentials. So when I, when I uh, do this, when I set this up where I kind of put, put some of this information together, uh, I, especially on this one here, I have to assume that this is people who are interested in shades, but probably are not experts in shades yet, or probably not of a, not part of uh, Lutron's essential shade program. Um, and I'll explain the difference because we're, we're going to be talking about triathlon shades and we're going to begin to be talking about the shade essentials program for Lutron. Uh, so first of all, the, the, you can see the agenda. We'll go through each of these topics uh, during the uh, next 15 minutes. I'm already seven minutes into it, so we'll try and speed up. Uh, but anyways, uh, why automated shades? Okay, Lutron, for the most part, has been around since 1961 and been managing or controlling light and dimming light. Um, in 1993, Joel Spear decided to get into the lighting, uh, sorry, the shade business because he felt or he believed that if you could not control both artificial lighting as well as natural lighting, you could not achieve full lighting control in your space. And I completely agree with it because you can use natural light to augment your artificial lighting. Additionally, natural lighting, and this goes to what Susanna was saying, natural lighting is a great way to harvest the power of the sun and control energy usage and natural resources, which is also very true and something that Lutron focuses on heavily, heavily in the commercial side of the business. Uh, and we take advantage of what, what uh, it can do in the residential side by reducing uh, outside glare, uh, UV damage, uh, reducing our energy costs, et cetera, et cetera. So it can be used as a way to control energy. Now, it's not as simple to measure because there's many different types of shades. 
many different types of applications. And so we use it as a general guideline that's gonna help us to reduce uh, glare, provide privacy, reduce UV, reduce energy costs, et cetera. It's a general way to do it, but we don't give you uh, return, on, return on investment information like you would say switching from an incandescent to an LED lamp. Uh, so the importance of automated shades in your business. Uh, many of you on this, on this uh, webinar probably radio raw to Caseta, raw to select customers. You've sold energy, you've sold uh, lighting control. You understand lighting control, how it dims. You understand a switch and one switch re is, is required for each load or one dimmer is required for each load. But automated shades can be a huge, and I'm saying, I'm not, not underscoring this enough, a huge part of your business. It actually is Lutron's number one residential category. Lutron sells more shades than they do in Radio Raw 2, Radio Raw 2 Select, and Homeworks combined. It is by far their number one component, which is really odd because most people recognize Lutron as a dimming company or lighting control company. Um, it's also important in your business because if you sell what, whatever you sell, we sell Raw 2 Select. Customers are going to be like, hey, I, I just bought this Raw 2 Select, it's cool. Uh, let me go look at Lutron's website and see what else they have. Or let me understand what RAW 2 Select is or what RAW 2 is or what Homeworks is. And they're going to see prominently on Lutron's website uh, automated shading control, and they're going to ask you about it. Um, it's, it's an easy way to grow your business. Um, as many of you know, it's always easier to sell more, of, uh, more product to the same customer than it is to, uh, to get new customers. So when you've sold them lighting control already, they're going to naturally ask you down the road, or you're going to want to present to them down the road, the possibility of Lutron shades. And I'll tell you why that's easy to do uh, in just a minute with uh, the uh, 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 triathlon category of product. Um, it also makes you the expert. It puts you in control of more of the customer's overall project, whether it's retrofit or whether it's new construction. You're, you're approaching their project now from a technology standpoint. And as you'll see, you're also going to approach their project from a fashion standpoint, okay? Because you're talking to them about design aspects of their job, not just the technology aspects of the job. Um, and of course, uh, it, it, uh, there's always, regardless, in every project, whether it's in retrofit or new construction, there is always a budget for window fashion. Uh, there's never a budget for uh, lighting control or dimming or things like that. Uh, because the electrician has already provided that $1.99 decor rocker switch, and now you're trying to upsell the customer to a $190 um, uh, Lutron dimmer or a $100 Lutron dimmer. Um, there's never a budget for that, but there's always a budget for window fashion. So why Lutron? Well, the Lutron difference. Lutron has been in the uh, lighting uh, automated shade industry for more than 20 years. They have a, a substantial amount of knowledge in uh, the applications. They have a substantial amount of knowledge in fabrics. They have a, a substantial uh, amount of knowledge in installations. Uh, so they're going to provide you with the best solutions or help to provide you with the best solutions uh, for shading. So it also is an entire shading solution, uh, which is meaning one company provides the entire solution from shade, the shade itself, uh, the electronic drives, control, power supplies, hardware, and more. Uh, and that's different from a lot of other manufacturers. A lot of manufacturers may fabricate, don't, don't, don't forget that word, fabricate a shade, but they're going to buy a drive from somebody else. They're so going to buy a drive uh, fabric from somebody else. They might buy, may buy, buy a power supply from somebody else, and they're going to fabricate that shade, um, and, and uh, maybe somebody else is going to install it for them, uh, where Lutron provides the entire shading solution. Uh, broadest breadth of line, eight shade styles, over 1,500 fabrics and materials. So different type fabrics are what roll up. Materials can be like uh, wood lines, things like that. Uh, seamless integration with daylight, electric light, security system, HVAC systems, systems for ho total home control. Um, so what are the types of categories or what are the shade categories that Lutron has? Well, there's four. There's Serena, which you may have seen this or heard about this. This is what we call a DIY category. I mean, you can buy it online. You can buy it online from Lutron. Uh, you can buy it online from many different places. You can buy it at Home Depot. You can buy it at Lowe's. 
Um, this is something where somebody goes and just the same as they would walk into Home Depot and order some shade, whether they be shutters, whether they be uh, Venetian blinds, whatever, from Home Depot, if somebody installs them, um, they can also order that and install it themselves. And they also can order Lutron Serena shades um, that are motorized. Now they're motorized, but they don't integrate with very much. There's not a whole lot of integration that's available with Serena. The best you can do with Serena is you can integrate them to Caseta. There's also the triathlon shades, which is what we're gonna talk about, talk a lot about today. There's the Savoia QS, which is the, which is the uh, full line series of shades, has many more applications, has, has uh, many more different uh, styles of shades, et cetera. Um, and then there's a Palladium, which is Lutron's ultra high-end luxury uh, product. So uh, we're gonna be focusing on the triathlon shade category. And the triathlon shade category is the primary shade that falls under the, the uh, Shade Essentials program. And I'll talk about the Shade Essentials program in just a little bit. So where all of these shades fit in the scope of Lutron's lighting control, you can see here Caseta, Raw 2 Select, Raw 2 Homeworks on the right side. On the left side is Triathlon Shades, which is a huge category. And the line there is not quite exactly correct. It probably actually goes a little higher because Triathlon Shades is more price comparative. What I mean is, the relative price of shades falls into the same line as the relative price of Ritty Rock 2. So that line goes a little higher than what you see there. But Triathlon Shades really covers the bulk of Ritty Rock 2, Ritty Rock 2 Select, and Caseta as far as lighting control categories. So uh, it is a big part of Lutron's overall shade business. Savoy QS hits partly through Ritty Rock 2 and Homeworks, uh, Homeworks QS and QSX as well as Palladium Shades fits above the Savoia QS Shades. Palladium Shades are a design aesthetic, very industrial looking, um, uh, high-end contemporary design that really fits the upper 1% of the Homeworks customers more in that uh, luxury, ultra high-end category. All right, so Shade Essential Opportunities. This is the category, or this is the certification that I'm talking about today or the first, what I would say is the first step into shade business if you are a raw to select and a radio raw to customer. And the shades that are available within the Shade Essentials program is the triathlon shade styles or roller shades, as well as roller shades water. Now I'm not gonna go into any of the specific technical details of all these because that's covered in the class or the training class I'm gonna talk to you about at the end. Uh, at the end. There is honeycomb shades, there is drapery light as a category, and the new uh, motorized tilting wood blinds. And those wood blinds are motorized so they tilt, but they're manually raised up and down. Um, it's a great category because a lot of times uh, uh, wood blinds or blinds like that rarely, rarely ever get raised and lowered. Lutron does have a category of wood blinds in their Savoy QS line that does automate up and down as well as tilt. Uh, but in my opinion, these wood blinds uh, are more competitive price point as well as they really focus towards that mid-market, which is really what most customers do, which is tilt them open and closed, okay? Uh, so a whole plethora there of shades. And in my opinion, you can cover probably 90% of all of the shade applications, installation applications that you may encounter with a full Savoy QS certification, uh, but these are more competitively priced and I'll show you some of the, some of the advantages coming up. Why are these uh, styles part of Essentials? One, they make up the bulk of our wireless category for Radio Raw 2, Radio Raw 2 Select, and Caseta. All three of those categories right there are primarily controlled through RF and through, through Lutron's Clear Connect technology. Um, they are all battery powered only or battery power capable, which means some of them, some of them can be hardwired uh, with a power cable back to a power supply and this is important, particularly for windows that may be a little hard to reach. So those windows above um, all of your primary windows, the window above your sliding glass door, the window above the uh, big picture window in the, in the family room, et cetera. So you don't wanna have to change those batteries. Um, they're an essential part of the lighting control market for the mid-market customer. And I kind of explained that already, is that these are price comparative to the Radio Raw 2. Um, Shade Essentials is also the first certified level for electrical contractors and AV professionals. 
Um, it's one of those things where you want to get into shades, but you don't necessarily want to make the investment of a full shade certification. Plus, this also gives you a lot of uh, the benefits of being shade certified without necessarily taking all of the courses required for the full shade certification. Um, and as I said, Shade Essentials can still accomplish many of the installations and utilize most of the materials and fabrics options of Savoy QS. So even though you have a more limited number, uh, a more limited number of shade styles to use, you still have access to the full shade materials and fabrics that are available to the rest of the um, full shade certification line. So what are the benefits of automated shades? First, and these are what I would call selling points. These are things when you're selling, just like you've heard me talk about in Radio Rock 2 trainings, these are selling points or reasons why customers will buy shades or why they'll integrate shades into their house. The number one probably is create your, your comfort zone, okay? Shoot, shades move in near perfect unison to control the natural light in your space. You're creating that atmosphere, the ambiance, uh, no matter what it is. You're effectively adjusting shades and blinds with your voice. You can use Pico remotes, the Lutron app, or keypads. Number two, and this is probably also as important, is that they're going to enhance your decor. There was a while where shades were pretty much a utilitarian type of product. I mean, you were doing them for a couple of reasons, either to block out UV rays, um, add privacy, or something like that. But it was not necessarily a fashion statement in your house. Uh, with a lot of the materials that have come out over the past 10 years, they have become a lot more fashion trendy or trending than materials were in the past. Uh, material, for the most part, materials were, like I said, utilitarian and they were mostly used in commercial applications. But since automated shades became big in the AV world or the residential world, uh, they became a much bigger or more uh, important for the decor of the room. Uh, third one there, peace of mind, of course, privacy is always very important. You have to ask your, your clients some of those questions about, you know, is this for uh, protecting uh, the furniture, materials, privacy, things like that in the room? Or do you want to maintain that picture, beautiful picture as a view of the golf course? Um, and lastly, integrate seamlessly with other Lutron systems. Uh, you can, through Lutron Shades, integrate into a Radio Raw 2, Radio Raw 2 Select system, you can, from a single button, lower your shades, uh, turn off your lights, turn back your thermostat, set your alarm. There's a whole number of things you can do by having seamless integration. And I mean, really virtually seamless integration. They work with all Lutron lighting control systems. So the Lutron difference for triathlon shades uh, and why choose triathlon? First of all, I told you this all wireless, but it's, use, it is using Lutron's clear connect uh, um, wireless control, which is ultra reliable, ultra reliable radio frequency technology. It's been around for many, many years, it's developed in 1992. So been around for many, many years, quiet, precise movement there. They are uh, low voltage drives and they are ultra quiet, still the quietest drives on the market, aesthetically pleasing, intuitive control, seamless integration, which I've already mentioned already. Um, a couple of other differences. As I mentioned, industry-leading battery performance. Again, I don't want to go into a whole bunch of statistics and things about when you, that you'll see in the trainings, but a battery-powered shade from Lutron, standard three-foot by five-foot shade uh, with uh, two ups and two downs using standard D-cell alkaline batteries uh, will last uh, anywhere from three to five years on a uh, set of batteries. Um, the batteries also are easy to change because they access from the front. You don't have to take the shade down. And of course, we also have the wired version, which is a 12 volt version of shade. Uh, the important note is you can't switch from battery shade to a wired shade in the field. It has to be specified um, and built as either battery shade or wired shade. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'm sorry, you can't switch between the two. All right, so where do we go from here? How do you get started with automated shades? Well, obviously you always wanna take battery, uh, baby steps whenever you are entering into a new category. I would talk to an ALR salesperson. We can help you with shades, can give you a little education on it. Um, there's a shade class I'm going to tell you about in just a second. You can also work with an expert to do your first job or your first two jobs. And, and there are people in the marketplace who specialize in shades. There are AV integrators as well as electrical contractors who are well-versed in shades who can be a resource for you uh, to help you in your first couple jobs. It's not free, but it's, sometimes it's worth it. 
Um, you can also hire someone that can sell fashion. So I made it very specific at the end there, who can sell fashion. Um, I am not a person that sells fashion, although I can sell shades, I'm not a fashion person. And really what I'm talking about by fashion is when you're gonna have a conversation with a client, you probably are gonna have a conversation about colors, textures, things like that in shade material. And that's not me. Although I can give the client some, some uh, guidance on how to choose a, choose a good fabric, I'm not gonna choose the fabric for them and nor should you. Um, and of course you can always experiment on your own home. Um, I do that all the time. My home is basically a science project. To go to training or to learn about training, you have to attend a Shade Essential Certification Training. It is a two day and right now everything's virtual. So it's a two day virtual class. Um, it, they come up about four, four to five times a year. I have the next class coming up in just a second, uh, but it's a two day virtual train. The cost for you is $250 uh, to go to the class. Uh, there's a requirement to buy a little bit of training equipment, which is some parts and pieces and things like that, that you will actually be asked to do during the train, uh, i.e. Uh, how, how do I install a, a, a shade? And how do I install brackets, things like that. Um, there's also a test at the end of the class. Um, it says 90% is required to pass the test. Now that may seem ooh, daunting. It's not a one and done. You can take class a test as many times as you want. Uh, many of the questions that are on the test, I think there's about 30 questions on the test, 30 to 35 questions on the test. Many of the questions you can pull up Google and you'll find the answer right away. And there's no time limit on taking the test. Um, you, could, you could keep that test going for an hour while you're Googling things back and forth and answering, answering a question every five minutes. Um, so there is a required requirement for taking a, a certification training. Um, there's also a requirement for some demo equipment. Now, this is a little bit different than, you, than I would say uh, a RAW 2 or RAW 2 Select. Um, there's really no demo equipment for RAW 2 or RAW 2 Select. Uh, you, of course, should have some stuff in your house. When you have things in your house or you have things on your test bench, you're going to learn the programming that you went through. You're going to learn how these products react with different fixtures. You're going to learn about, about them, but nobody really wants to see what a switch looks like. Very few people ever want to see what a keypad looks like. It's, although it's nice to have a demo keypad for your customers. On the other hand, shades is completely different. They're going to want to see what an automated shade looks like. So hence, you're going to want to have a shade demo. This shade demo is a portable demo. It goes in that little nice fancy little case there and you can carry it around. Um, you're going to want to have some hem bar samples. They have some hem bar samples and they have some openness samples. Um, there's also three binders that are required. Uh, there is a honeycomb binder, there's a classico binder, and there's a gallery binder. Those binders have all the current fabrics in them, but I'm going to be honest with you, fabrics change all the time, especially right now within the challenges of the global chain, uh, global um, supply chain, is that manufacturers are challenged to keep their fabrics in stock, uh, to keep them updated, uh, and Lutron is challenged as well in keeping those fabrics uh, current within the binders and keeping the fabrics in stock. Uh, so uh, binders are important, not as important, but you have to have at least the binder for the client to begin browsing through. There are other options for binders, which is you can uh, go, I'm sorry, other options for fabrics. Uh, Lutron has a website called lutronfabrics.com and we're gonna talk about that, I believe in number 15, how to order samples from that location. Um, so last recommendations. Again, I would work with a mentor or a shade expert. Um, and honestly, I'm going to tell you, I, I tell everybody gets involved in shades. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to make a mistake. Okay, make a mis mistakes can be measurement mistakes. Mistakes can be shade style mistakes, openness factor mistakes. The client didn't realize what that was or how open it was. Um, that's going to happen. I call those shop shades. Those are shades where you put up in your shop or you maybe cut them down or have you know, learn how to cut them down and put them up in your own house. Um, but those are shop shades and you're going to make those mistakes, I'm sorry. Uh, but you're also gonna learn from those mistakes, okay? That's part of, part of developing your shade expertise. Um, and then lastly, consider partnering with a shade expert. If you're not the guy who wants to understand fabrics, wants to talk to the client about fabrics uh, or, or gal that, that uh, wants to understand fabrics or talk to the client, there are a lot of guys out there who you can partner with. We have a number of shade experts in the marketplace, and it's not a bad way to go. They'll bring you in. They'll cut you into some you know, profit opportunities for that particular project. 
Um, and all of the burden and all of the uh, required expertise is going to be on them and not you. But if you do this correctly, if you make shades a big part of your business and make it a core part of your business, honestly, it is like a license to print money, okay? Because it seamlessly integrates with RAW2, Caseta, RAW2 Select. Um, and it is also one of those things that makes you the expert on that project. All right, so I am longer than I expected, but uh, the next shade class is coming up on November 1st and 2nd. As I said, uh, you can, uh, there is a, there's a, uh, an application process for it. It's pretty simple. That shade class does close or the registration process closes two weeks before. So it'll cl close around the 15th of November. I'm sorry, 15th of October. Uh, so we have roughly about six weeks. Uh, and the reason it closes early is because Lutron has to prepare or get samples out to you, um, get the product out to you, the demo equipment out to you. Uh, and, um, uh, and takes the, the guy who does the training some time to do that. Now, one other important thing, these classes always fill up before the, the registration deadline ends. And so they could close even before that October 15th deadline. Uh, so uh, if you're interested, um, I would reach out to myself or Susanna or Liza. We're the three primary people that work in the mid-market area or mid-market category. Most of you guys have, have uh, uh, know me or you've uh, been in one of our training classes. Um, if not, you can certainly reach out to Susanna and she can direct you uh, where to go. So that's pretty much it. Susanna, do you see any questions out there? No questions in the in the chat box. Um, as a Lutron Pro, can we purchase triathlon and Savoia QS shades directly from ALR? It's no. a question from Larry Becker. Yeah, no, you can't purchase them from ALR. Um, there is two places you can purchase them from. You can purchase them from a local distributor. Uh, but um, uh, what happens is that local distributor pays the exact same price as you would pay when you buy it from Lutron. So what will happen is when you register for the class, um, about uh, two weeks prior to the class, Lutron will contact you. Uh, once you once you register and pay for the class, that's the $250, Lutron will contact you about two weeks ahead of time uh, to uh, get you to pay for the training demo, as well as the binders and the uh, um, shade demo. Uh, and that price is the exact same price that the distributor will buy it from. So they're not going to pass it through to you most likely at that same price. A lot of times those distributors will mark it up. So the best place to buy it is from Lutron when they call you. Yeah. Um, Praveen asks, is the demo shade needed? I always see these sitting collecting dust in shops. There's two options on the demo shade. Um, you can, the demo shade, obviously the, the sample demo shade you can get. If you have, or you want to put shades in your showroom. So if you have a showroom and you wanna put some demo shades in your showroom, that's another option as well too. The only disadvantage of putting demo shades in, and, if, and right now would be a good time to think about that and do it because if you want to put demo shades in, um, we can get the demo shade order going for you now. So when you go to the class, your demo shade is already installed and Lutron will turn on access to the shades. If you wait until after you take the training, then you have to do the demo shade order and Lutron does not turn on that demo shade or the access to buy shades until after you've installed the demo shade. Okay. So that could be, that could be six, eight weeks. So you want to leave that class uh, running and go out and be able to talk to people and, and start collecting orders and start selling stuff. Good advice. Thanks, Bob. I don't see any other questions. So I think we're going to wrap it up because we are a little bit, over, but this is a big subject. Um, again, this is the 13th of 15, so we got two more. And then we're gonna be changing the times. Uh, we're sticking to Tuesdays and it will be um, 7.30 and four. So uh, we'll send out a schedule and make sure everybody's up to date on that. And we look forward to seeing you at the next trainings. Um, don't forget to check under the education link at the ALR website, alrinc.com. You can sign up there. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.